bring it in. And I was like, what happened to the time? Good morning, welcome to Car Rides with Connor. The time is 6.58 a.m. Friday, September 6th. Thanks. We have our matching mugs. Yep, got these from a chiropractor. What, it's called Essential Wellness. Chiropractic and Massage. We did a- It has the perfect curvature. It has a bunch of dots in the perfect curvature of a human vertebrae. That spines to the layperson. Why are you so funny? You're kicking us right off with your doing what you Anywho, doing. we recently returned from a trip to Rhode Island. Which we were super remiss yesterday. Yeah. We didn't talk about a really cool thing we did do. Yeah. Who did we meet on Friday night at uh, Cheesecake Factory? Oh, we met a very... A special we'll get uh, uh, we we met at a bear you okay uh, sorry yeah I'm looking, looking for the right word not a guest but a friend cast me we we met a good friend of ours at the cheesecake factory on Friday James from love on the spectrum James B Jones yep. and his father Lawrence and his mother, June. Yes. And then, surprisingly, surprisingly to us, blah, blah, I can't talk either. Surprise. We're just, we're just gonna be over here stumbling for our words. Are, are we drunk? Are you drunk? I, I have not. Nope. I'm as sober as a priest on Sunday. Okay. Yeah, I know. Priests aren't really that sober. What are you talking about? That's a, that's a cliche. <laughs> it's a cliche, Connor. Um, yeah. That's a horrible generalization to make. Um, oh, that's what why, what am I, what am I, why, why can't I talk either? I don't know. Like both of our tongues are broken this morning. Yeah. No, and then we were there Thursday. Uh, we, no, we were making plans with James. So James must have spoken to the director of the show, Kean, and one of the producers, Sean. Yeah. Because Sean called me and said, are you and Connor in Boston? And I said, yeah. And really Rhode Island, but close enough. And then I said, he said, are you having dinner with James on Friday night? And I said, yeah, we're so excited. Yeah. He said, Kean and I are here. Can we please crash the party? We were happy to let them tag along. We were. So it was a great, like, surprise. It was me, yeah. you, Jack, Lawrence, June, James, and then Kian and Sean. Yep. It was like, when I just, it makes me burst with pride when I think about your social life now. Yep. You know, when you really didn't have friends or things to do, and now you're like, yeah. Mom, I just want to stay home. I'm so tired of going out. Tell us about, what did you and James talk about? Because you were at the other end of the table. Well, uh, I think we were talking about, about oh, there's this renaissance there called King Richard's Fair. James said he was going. That's this weekend. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, um, what else? You guys were talking about swords. Yes, we do. We both collect swords. Did you have any interesting facts you learned from James? Um, I, um... Uh, Can I make another observation uh, about you? I've, you forgot? Yeah. You have this insanely incredible mind to me. Yeah. We're like, dude, you remember things from like books, stories, movies, you know, facts about history, but socializing is harder for you. So I notice when you're socializing, you like, can't come back and tell me kind of what y'all talked about. Yeah. It's just interesting. I mean, I'm not just making a remark or comment. I just find that interesting how your brain works. So, um, also update from yesterday's car ride. We did something batshit crazy yesterday, didn't we? 
Yep. We booked another two tickets. Where'd we book them to? Los Angeles for an Emmys party. We're doing it. It's not the actual Emmys. It's just a party. But last time, I, they had an Emmys party. Jason Bateman showed up. It's crazy. So, you know what? Kids, cover your ears. We said hashtag... Well, I guess I won't say it because I think my cousin's kids actually watch a lot. Which I just found out. So, hashtag F it. Yeah. We're, we're going. going. Yeah, we're going. After that, I'm done with traveling for a while. At least until November. Right. A lot of people love travel. Yeah, but it's exhausting. It is. What part do you find the most exhausting? Let's see, getting up, getting packed, going to the airport, waiting for the plane, getting on the flight, mostly just the, it just wears you out? Yeah, it all wears me out. Well, but packing, I usually try to help to make that comp not so painful. Excuse me. It's okay. Look how pretty the sky is. They say it's going to rain yeah. today, but it's gorgeous right now. Yeah. Um, so, we, yeah, we updated you on that. Okay. We've got... Met James. Um, not to bring any of this down, but we didn't talk about it yesterday. It was, but uh, we do need to kind of just because we do live in the state of Georgia, and uh, about an hour from where we live, we had that horrible, horrible. We're not going to get political, but we had a horrible school shooting. And all I want to say is just mother, uh, wife, uh, daughter, all of the things, just our hearts are broken yeah. for the families in Winder. Yeah. And, um, I feel like they're, the sad truth is I feel like these school shootings are becoming more frequent. It's really concerning. Um, you know what, Connor, just kind of active shooters, period. But we didn't really want to get heavy. Yesterday was our first day back, but we do, we're not ignoring the current affairs, especially in our backyard, and uh, we're heartbroken by it. We were keeping these families in our prayers. Um, it is more devastating to learn one of the young men, I believe Mason, was an autistic student. And uh, I'm almost going to start to cry. I can't imagine his confusion and fear and... Uh, Anyway, let's just keep all of them in our prayers and our thoughts. Yes. And uh, let's, you know, just uh, let's get it together, it's America. Our arms doesn't. Yeah. I mean, we're just gonna we're just gonna leave it there. But we we are thinking of all of those people today. Um, yeah. Okay, I have comments for you. Unless you have something else you want to tell us about, anything you're watching, anything. <sighs> well, I'm starting watching season two of the rings of power that's those elves you were watching last night not just elves dwarves hobbit oh that's men i love the cute dwarf family the husband and wife family oh or is that the trolls where are they what what are you wait what trolls, are they? what are you talking about the cute husband and wife where his dad was a king oh that oh can... you mean durden and oh you mean durden and disa no they're, they're, they're dwarves face. they're dwarves they're dwarves. Well, they're kind of my favorites. They, and they're and I don't home, really watch the show. And but spoiler what I alert, want. their home just suffered an earthquake. That is a spoiler. I mean, I'm not watching it with you. And for those show... of you who have seen the last season, the dwarves of Moria, of Casa Doom, the city where Durin and Disa live, they have no idea what's right below their feet. Okay, well. Don't spoil anything. That's all I'm going to say. But how can you know the name of Kaza Doom, but you can't tell me what you and James talked about? Isn't that interesting? I'm just saying it's interesting. I don't socialize much. I know. I just think it's interesting. You're flexing those muscles. You're learning. Oh, we have one more shout out. Okay, why don't you read our, our comments and see what... What is this person on my tail for? Like, there's people in front of me. Where, where can I go? I can remember... Go ahead, babe. Um, Honey, I'm not tasked. I think James okay. said something about oh, um, 
I don't know. I think we talked about Game of Thrones or something. That's totally cool. Dude, I'm so not tasking you. I'm just noting. Sometimes your mind amazes me and just the, the way it works. That's all I'm... My only... I'm not trying to make you feel bad. If yeah. you are, don't. I'm just marveling at you and how your brain works. It's interesting. Um, okay, what do we got for a comment? Because now we're in the driveway. That was fast. The Dog Mother 35 writes, Connor used to watch Big Time Rush. OMG, I was obsessed with it as a little teeny, bop, teeny bopper. Teeny bopper. That's what you call a teenager. Ah. Uh, Did you watch Big Time Rush? I still do. Is that one of your little yeah. guilty pleasures? What do you mean? I don't know. All right, read another one. There's this one I want you to read. It's this guy. Do you see one from Eric something? Fix her. Uh, Heather Barber, or 5521 writes, I bet the pups missed you even oh. more than we did. The Emmys party sound was fun, so I'm sure it's hard to decline, but also totally get it. Girl, we did it. We're yeah. doing it. All right, what else you got? There's this one, it's like a one word comment. He does it almost every day. Nice. What's his name? Eric Von Wiegen. Wiegen. Eric, we love it, every day. Five, six, seven, two. He gives us a nice. Yeah. You okay? Yeah, I'm just, I'm still tired. So tired? Yeah. Guess what, it's Friday. Yeah. Get to rest. I have to work tomorrow, but you get to sleep in. Yeah. And, oh, this guy's just. Tomorrow's Transformers Day. Oh yeah, we're getting a lot of RSVPs too. We invited to the Connection School and we invited some of our friends from Spectrum and people are RSVPing. Okay, there you go. Here, throw him a chair. Oh, he's a little more solid, this one. Cheerio. Anyway. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to leave a like, hit the subscribe button, and as always, stay classy, planet Earth. Love you. I can't believe Coco stayed in the back. Because we put Chewy up front today. First of all, I need you guys to look at his eyes. He looks like a human being. Come here, Chew. Look. <laughs> Wait, Chewy. <laughs> for some reason, those eyes. They look like... Um, human being eyes to me. Look, wait, chew hugs. Show everybody. <laughs> You're a funny guy. You're a funny dude. Oh my gosh, I love our little dogs so much. I can't really have them in my lap. That's not safe. I love you so much, buddy. Get over here. Oh, you little lard. I can't believe you stayed in your lane back there, Coco. That astonishes me, to be fair. Little Miss Jealous Pants. You know what I do need today is gas, so I gotta let you guys go. Somebody's at Pump One, people. Pump One is Occupado. I may just have to grow up and go. Oh, Pump Two is too, that's my backup pump. Oh man. Now, see, now my OCDs kick in well in because the I just like this. I think I like it because it's easy access, but both of them are, act, there's a landscape truck and then a man. These people have every right to be at these pumps, but for some reason, I feel like I own them. I can't do it. I can't go, oh, that one's open. I can't do it. What's wrong with me? This is some serious OCD. The, the simple fact that I would sit here and wait for one of these pumps is stupid. You know, this is stupid. I have to fight my own power. This is dumb. I've got to go around. That's ridiculous to be that hung up on two gas pumps. I'm gonna push myself out there and make myself go to an open one. Ugh, this feels wrong. What pump, pump 15, all right. I'll give it a girl. 
I'm like on the other side of soda machines. I can't even see my, my preferred pumps. All right. Well, don't want to pump 15, everybody. Much to my chagrin. <laughs> what are you doing? We're just getting gas. Are, he's looking for, I think he's looking for a window. Like for a pop car. No. <laughs> they see the booth. Pump one and two look out at a field or a driveway. They see the gas lady booth. There are no pup cups here, my young ones. That is funny. Yes, I have my purse. I'm like, please stay have my purse because I need gas. All right. Anyway, you all have a wonderful weekend. Oh, and I'm going to suck it up here at pump 15. Bummer. And, oh, I hope you enjoyed the little short I put up with our little car ride from New England with my cousins. My, my cousins, little, my little cousins. My cousins' kids. So, very small. Anyway, have a great day. I've got to break these two hearts that they're not getting any treats. Right, Coke? She's crying. All right, guys, happy weekend. Happy Friday. Uh, we've got Transformers this weekend. We've got a lake party uh, for my coworkers this weekend. That's family. So Connor will be at, with us at that. And uh, yep, full dance card this weekend. Connor's gonna love it. Um, he can stay home if he wants. All right, guys. Love you, mean it. Bye.